welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a Q&A. I got a lot of questions over on Instagram. If you're not following me over on Instagram, then I will leave my Instagram right here. I will also be linked down below for you guys. Um, I'd love to have you guys follow me over on Instagram because I'm a lot more active over there. But I got a lot of questions and I'm going to go ahead and jump on into this because I want to be able to get to them all. Okay, the first one is, what is our favorite date spot? Um, I really, I really don't know. Um, my favorite date spot, I don't know. I think the most dates we've had has just been probably like Texas Roadhouse or something simple like that. Maybe Olive Garden. Um, but I really like a movie date and, um, what else? So that's for like a husband and wife date. I would say like go to the movies or watch a movie at home. And I talked about this in my last Q&A and like just stay home, cuddle, eat sushi, stuff like that. That's fun. Um, date spot for girls. I like on like a girls night. I love like spa nights and stuff like that. So I don't really have a specific spot that I go for dates. But um, like I'm an at home type of date person. I think those are fun. Um, or like Dave and Buster's, that's always fun. Something different. How are you and Tyler holding up? And by the way, I'm praying for you guys. Thank you so much. Um, if you guys are new here, you don't know that me and Tyler just went through a miscarriage um, about a week ago now for me filming this video. Exactly a week, actually. And um, we're doing better. It's really hard, um, but I will address that in this next question it asks. Um, how, how is like going mentally what is it like having a miscarriage um it's like nothing I can explain I think if you can't honestly explain it like you just have to I hope and pray that none of you have to go through this but um it's something that you honestly just have to go through to experience or to be able to understand what it's like um like I just never understood what it was like for someone that had a miscarriage until I had one of my own um, it's just, it's just nothing like I've ever, I never thought that just an eight week old baby would be like my baby. You know what I mean? Like I was excited. We'd already announced it and it was just one of those things that was like, this is my baby. I can't wait for, um, it to be here. But the hardest part, I think transitioning was knowing that I'm not pregnant and saying, okay, like I can eat this or like I would like rub my belly occasionally. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm not pregnant. So that was the hardest part. And also it's really hard like seeing pregnant women or people that are due around the same date as you were supposed to be. It's really hard seeing them progress and you're not. Um, but that's the hardest part and um, there's no way to mentally prepare yourself for it. Just know that you're not the cause and you're not the reason and it was not God's plan. Um, and I would never say it was not meant to be because um, that's not how I look at things. It was definitely meant to be. It just wasn't God's plan for it to go any further. Um, when are you coming back to North Carolina so we can vlog together? We are actually coming back in, well, I am actually coming back. This is a huge surprise. So if you're watching this Q&A, you're getting in on the huge surprise. I'll be back May 29th. I'm flying back, not with my family, but they're coming to visit me. And then I'm going back, um, that same day not in the same flight because there wasn't anything available but Tyler's going to be gone for a whole month so I figured why not go home and spend time with my family and so I'm going to go home for the month and then we're actually staying there until July 15th so I'm going to be there for like 49 days so if you want to collab let me know Melissa I would love to hang out and just get to know each other a little bit better other than the camera and Instagram what do you love most about motherhood that's just another one of those things, like if you're not a mom, you will not understand the connection that you have with your son or daughter. Um, in my case, it's a daughter if you're new here. And I don't know, let me take a sip of water first. <laughs> my favorite thing though about being a mom is just learning with Skylar, like watching her grow and me grow at the same time. I think it's crazy how just much she's learned in just one year and how much I've learned in just one year like I knew nothing about being a mom until I became a mom and now like obviously I don't know everything I don't have all the answers but it's just crazy how much you can learn in just one single year of having a baby like it just it's mind-blowing but um 
I love being a mom. It's literally my favorite title, being a mom and a wife. I just love it. Um, favorite movies and TV shows. What are your biggest pet peeves? Okay, so these are two questions. What favorite movie and TV show? Um, don't judge me if you haven't seen it. Um, right now we're watching Ozark. So that's kind of like on my mind. Um, I don't know if it's definitely probably not my favorite TV show, but it's on my mind right now. So that's all I can think. Um, TV show. I really like The Bachelor. Typical me. Um, I like The Bachelor. Mm, teen Mom. Because I'm a teen mom. That's about it for TV shows. Um, my biggest pet. Oh, movie? Hmm. Hmm. My favorite movie is Just Go With It. If you have not seen Just Go With It, what are you doing? Like, seriously. Um, my biggest pet peeve. <laughs> okay, so I don't know of anybody that probably has this pet peeve, or maybe I'm just really, like, anal about stuff like this. But I hate it when, especially right now, because I can't walk because I'm on crutches. If you guys don't follow me over on Instagram, you don't know that. But... I have an air cast on my foot because I sprained my ankle really bad. Um, I'll put a picture of my ankle right here. It's really bad. Um, but my, I hate it when people have to like do stuff for me. I am super independent. I want to do everything myself. I have a certain way I want things done. That's just how I've always been. And I don't know. I don't think I could ever change that. Just, I guess that's a pet peeve of mine. Um, that's kind of something I don't like about myself. So. Um, I don't know if you consider that a pet peeve or not, but I don't really have any like serious pet peeves like people biting their nails doesn't bother me, people chewing with their mouth open, stuff like that doesn't bother me. So that's the only one I can think of right now. Oh. If you got a tattoo, what would it be? Um, I've actually thought about this before when I was doing hair, I wanted to get scissors right here, just a cute little pair of scissors. Um, also thought about getting some, like a pair of eyelashes right here. I thought it'd be so cute. Also, all of them are right here. Um, I want to get sister tattoos with my sister, which we may do um, when she comes out here. But we want to get little hearts, just something simple right here on our wrist. Okay, my camera battery died, so I got another one put in there. So I may, the lighting may be a little bit different, that is why. Um, who am I most inspired by? Um... inspiration there's a lot of people that inspire me um when it comes to like youtube i watch tara henderson she was like my main like mommy vlogger that made me start like wanting to be a mommy vlogger and then um as far as like makeup i watch casey holmes and i love her um and christ i would have to say jesus christ is my main inspiration and I strive to be more Christ-like and to just be more like him. So I would say he is definitely my biggest inspiration in life. How do you filter your videos? I don't know if you mean on Instagram or on YouTube because on YouTube I don't filter my videos and I've actually been asked that before um, by one of my friends if I filter my videos. I don't. I do filter my thumbnails. Um, I'll answer the second part of your question but I don't filter my videos if that's what you're asking on YouTube because I have no idea how to do that. Um, how do I filter my Instagram videos? Let me show you. Okay, it's really easy, but I'm just gonna like take a picture. And um, seriously, so easy, you just slide. And the main one I use, and I get a lot of questions about like which filter I have on there. I don't know how to say it, but it's J A I P U R. So that's the main one I use on Instagram. And then um, if I use like a filter, you just click on this little, sm not that, not that, it's a flip around button. You click on this little smiley face right there. And then there's different filters, like a doggy filter. Kylie is the one that I use the most. So um, that is how I put filters on my Instagram videos, but I don't know if that was your question or if it was about YouTube because if it was YouTube, like I said, I don't have filters. Um, there was a second part of that question, but I got to get back to it. Also, how do you make your thumbnails? Okay. 
let me show you the app that I use. Super easy, just type in thumbnail maker and it will look like this. Let me get in focus. That right there and it's really easy. It's a free app. Um, they do have a premium to it, but I don't use that one. And there's a lot of ads, which is kind of annoying. That's what I'm clicking out of right now. Um, so I think if you pay for the premium, you don't have the ads, but it's whatever. Um, and then you just click on the little camera right there and I can use like any photo on my camera roll as my thumbnail, but what I'll do, I'll take my thumbnail right now so I can show you guys what I do. Um, so I just kind of like sit here and have whatever I want the thumbnail to be. It could be like if I'm cleaning, like in a cleaning video, I'll just kind of like freeze for a minute and be like, this is going to be my thumbnail. Um, but right now there's my thumbnail and what I'll do is I'll go on to iMovie and I will cut or like put like the arrow over the um there's videos on youtube to watch it how to explain how to do it because that's what i watched so i learned how to do it but then you can send it to your phone through airdrop and then edit it on your phone because that's what i do how do you handle being away from tyler when he leaves um i think just over time i've kind of grown used to it tyler and i were together three years before we got married and spent half of that away from each other um so i think i just grew used to it he went to basic so he was gone for four months while we were dating um sorry about the lighting i'm using natural light so it's gonna go in and out but i think it's just learning um gradually learning how to deal with him being away i don't think it ever really is easy him leaving but it definitely gets easier like you kind of just get used to it um when he leaves, I would rather him leave for a big span of time than come back, leave, come back, leave, come back, leave. Like that gets really old really fast. But leaving and then knowing a certain date that he's coming home, I can do that because I know I have a date to look forward to. But the coming and leaving, I don't like that at all. How was the transition for both of you into marriage, especially with a factor of the military? Um, kind of what I just said, we were together three years before we got married. Um, so I already knew what Tyler was like. I didn't jump into marriage. Um, and the military wasn't really a big transition because I knew what the military was like. Like I said, um, we had gone through it already. We had been dating during it. So I knew what it was like once we got married. Um, my biggest advice I can give you if you're, I don't know, can't see your picture but I don't know if this is your fiance or your husband but um my biggest thing I would have to say is just go with the flow like seriously they own your spouse whether it be husband or wife they own them and they are not going to care just like with my ankle issue if you guys follow me on Instagram you know about this how they weren't letting him have any time off for my ankle and my mom ended up having to fly in and she's here now um but it's just learning to deal in stressful situations by yourself, knowing that your husband may not be there for you, may not be there with you during that time, but you have to be tough, like literally, um, you have to be strong and just get through it. I feel like this is a really deep Q&A, like I'm kind of getting into these questions. Next question, have you adjusted to moving so far away from your family? Yes, I definitely have. Um, I, when I was at Bragg, we, I mean, I, did, I got to see my family basically whenever I wanted to. Like, if I wanted to drive there, it was just like a 40-minute drive, so it was a lot. Um, I kind of got used to it doing that because I would see them occasionally, not like every day. Um, the moving so far away is really tough, like in situations that I'm going through right now with the miscarriage in my ankle. Um because my mom had to spend the money and fly all the way out here. So those situations are really hard. Um, I don't think that'll ever get any easier. But, sorry, I thought I seen something outside. Um, I don't think those will ever get really any easier. But the adjustment has definitely grown on me. And I enjoy being out here with my family. I think it's beautiful here. Um, the weather is really crazy. But um, it's nothing that hinders like my attitude or anything. Um... Other than that, I just think it's an adjustment that once you go through maybe a couple months, you'll be fine. Like, that's how I've been. Um, the first month being away from, like, my sister was really hard. But it's gotten easier over time because I know, like, 
we talk at this time, we FaceTime at this time, and we text throughout the day. So it's just gotten easier, just like with Tyler being in the military, like you adjust to being away and same with family, adjust to being away from them too. The last question is, would you move back home with the option from the military? So if the military allowed us to move back, would I? Um, yes. <laughs> and we're actually, um, I don't want to give too much away, but we are actually in the future, far future actually, um, thinking about moving back to North Carolina um, in, I want to be like two Decembers from now. Um, we're thinking about moving back. Um, I don't know the extent of that, if the Army's going to allow it or if there'll be a slot there for Tyler, but um, that's just an idea. So don't take it and run with it, but just know that that's our plan and our goal and what we would like to do. We do love it here. It's just um, we want to be around family um, and spend more time with them because we have Skylar growing up without seeing her grandparents and aunts and uncles um, and then eventually more children that we're going to bring in hopefully and that was the next another question that um i kind of didn't want to answer because i was going to answer it right here at the end is will we try again and definitely um Tyler and i want three to four kids and now we already have two one is just in heaven um but here physically on earth we would like to have three or four kids so that was one of the questions asked if we were going to try again, and most definitely we are going to try again. And I will definitely let you guys know once we are ready to announce that we're pregnant. We're not pregnant right now because I just had a miscarriage, but um, we will try in the future. That is going to be the end of this q and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry that I'm being super boring on YouTube lately with these sit-down videos, but it's just what I have to film with my leg being the way that it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Hey, I heard you got a new best friend. Yeah, it hurts a bit. I won't pretend that it doesn't matter. But you're with some.